Children born to a young man are like sharp arrows in the warrior's hand. How happy is the man whose quiver is full of them, the Bible says. He will not be put to shame when, this, when they speak the, with their enemies in the gate. In this materialistic world, children or having babies are being interpreted as liabilities. Oh, not yet. We are not yet ready. We have uh, to prepare for our financial security. And to some cases, not rebuking or pointing our fingers. And to some, they don't want to have babies. And to some, they have one or two. But the Bible says, children are reward from Him. The Bible says, children is a gift of the Lord. It is a reward. Children are wonderful. Look at the presentation today. There is life in our sanctuary because of the children, because of the young people. They're wonderful instruments to communicate life and hope and vibrancy to the condition of the sinking civilization today. They are here to transmit the message of life, live by our children like a beacon of life and a blessing to the next generation. Now in the book of Genesis 17 to 18, chapter 18, just read to you, then the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Abraham will surely become a great and powerful nation. And all the nations on the earth will be blessed through him. I want you to take note of verse 19. For I have chosen him so that he will direct his children in his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just so that the Lord will bring about for Abraham what he has promised. You can say God has chosen the, the father and God knew exactly that Abraham was a vessel that will convey and transmit the message of leadership in your respected homes. The Bible says, God knew he will keep his way and he will do what is right. Now Abraham did not fall back, but persistently lead his family in his sons in the ways of the Lord. This is exactly what God is communicating to us fathers and mothers this afternoon. Parents, to lead your children to the true riches, not the riches of money, and stability, and all the investment. Yes, we do those things, but communicate to them the true riches of relationship, love in the family, in Jesus on the top of everything that we desire. As I'm getting close this afternoon, we have some great people that are example because their family give importance to their children, to God, and to the ways of God. Martin Luther. Now, the parents influenced the life of Martin Luther. The mother, the wife of a coal miner, who often went hungry so that Martin Luther might attend school. Now, this great man becomes the leader of the Reformation. Because of a mother who desired to give the best and usher this man to become a man of God today. George Washington, the first president of America, and the same person who said, It is impossible to rightly govern the world without God and without the Bible. It is impossible, according to him. When he was young, he decided to go to the sea as a midshipman. Now the truck. His truck had been taken on board the boat. He's already there, his truck, getting ready to move to another place. But he went back to be farewell to his mother. Then he saw the tears of, of her mother's eyes. Seeing her distress, he turned to the servant and said, Go and tell them to fix my truck back. I will not go away and break my mother's heart. His mother is struck with his decision and said to him, George, God has promised to bless the children that honor their parents, and I believe He will bless you. Just George Washington. Church people, friends, God will build your home. Allow Him to lead you in the ways of the Lord. 
He is the one giving you the assurance of the place where you and I live today in the Black Town Council. Things in this world is not permanent. Things in the universal earth today is shakeable. Everything that could be shaken will be shaken. He controls the universe. There's a song that says he's got the whole world in his hand. And in the changing economy today, we cannot depend on any nation like America, or like England, or like Italy, or any countries or Australia today. God is the supplier and the giver of all you and I needs today. Put your heart in the right balance. God first, family, give importance to the family and children, and then to your financial security. Now the key to the restoration of the family unit, the key to the restoration of the community of Quakers here in Blacktown area, the key to the restoration of the city in general, of the country, or the nation, is to come back to God's leadership in our respected home. Come back to Him. There's a old frame that says, God is the guest in our home, a silent listener to every conversation. You know, church, it won't bless you if you just allow the Lord to be just the guest in your home. He is not the guest. He must be part of your family. And He is not only the guest. He must be the leader of your family. He is building your home. Or you have some other ways to build your home opposite to the ways of God. Listen. Storms after storms will shake the world. It will shake the nation. It will shake the state. Like what happened to Melbourne or Northern Territory or in Queensland. It will shake the state and the city. And it will shake each family before his son return. Listen to this as I'm getting close. When the storm come, Jesus said. He didn't say, if the storms will come. That's what the Bible says. When the storms come, the world system crush. The foundation are tumbling because people are living outside of the presence of God. Unless people come back into the presence of God and see really how God would fashion and mold our home, we're fighting a losing battle. Get in line with God's plan for you so you can live out what God has placed within you. There are great things that He has placed within you in order for you to lead and guide your family. Come to your father and say to him, Lord, have thine own way in my life, beginning today. Have thine own way in my family, my dreams, my aspiration, my goals in life, God, and in my home. And when you say that, God will bless you in Jesus' name. I'll call a song to sing and then end.